we're back again this week for another awesome adventure with Chip in Space. Yeah, we're in our final phase of training, but before that, to all our friends who are tuning in for the first time, be sure to ask your parents to take a picture of you watching us and send it to this number. We want to send a happy meal to you. Teacher Shuhui, we've been on a few weeks of adventures in space and we've been equipping ourselves to be better followers of Christ. Which lesson is your favourite so far? Hmm, mine is last week when we learned that your tongue is small but it has the power to form words that can cause big trouble and we must be mindful of what we say. What about you, Teacher Elisha? Oh, last week's lesson was good, but I particularly like the lesson where we must treat everyone the same, regardless of how they look, what they do, where they come from, and who they are. Yeah, all these lessons are great in equipping us in becoming awesome followers of Christ. Today, we're going to have a great lesson, but before we go into our lesson, let's worship God. Let's go!
Cadets and welcome to the final week of 3, 2, 1, blast off. What a big galactic bummer. Don't be sad, Teacher Shuhui. I've been really enjoying the past few weeks of training to be space cadets while also being great followers of Christ. Plus, we're not quite finished yet. We have one more out of this world training mission to go. Ah, that's right, Teacher Elisha. Let's go on our final mission and let's count down together from 3 and shout blast off together, okay? Three, two, two one, blast off! That's the spirit, Mr. Shuhei. Do you hear that? I think it's Chip calling in for our first mission. Greetings, space cadets. What do you call a computer superhero? Answer in three, two, one, a screensaver. Ha ha, ha ha. Seriously though, to be a hero in outer space, you must be able to stop the dreaded Zorg. If an alien zork boards your ship, it will try to eat the ship's computer and you will crash. The only thing that can stop the zork is a beam of light. Practice battling the zork before it is too late. Whoa, a computer eating zork? That sounds intense, but we can do this. Here are the tools we're going to use to defeat the zork. Yes, the zorks are definitely afraid of bright blinding lights, so we would have to shine our light at them. We need your help at home to spot the Zorg so that we can blast them with our lights and keep our computers safe. Oh, they're attacking! Let's go zap some Zorgs! We defeated the Zorg! Thank goodness we had help from the kids at home in spotting those Zorgs. Yeah, now that our computers are safe, we can receive our second mission from Chip. Nice teamwork, Space Cadets. Sometimes we face troubles that are too difficult to handle alone. But you shared your trouble with each other and worked together to overcome it. Your next training mission is to discover the best way to help one another. You will find instructions in the ultimate training manual, the Bible. Look up James chapter 5 verses 13 through 16. Then listen to the story of Ezra from the book of Ezra chapters 9 and 10 to complete the mission. Thanks Chip, we have our second mission and it starts in the book of James. Let's turn to James chapter 5 verses 13 to 16 and see what it says. Listen carefully and see if you can tell what the verses are saying. The verses say, If any of you are in trouble, let that person pray. If any of you are happy, then sing songs of praise. If any among you are sick, then that person should send for the elders of the church to pray over them. They should ask the elders to anoint them with olive oil in the name of the Lord. The prayer offered by those who have faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will heal them. If they have sinned, they will be forgiven. So confess your sins to one another. 
pray for one another so that they might be healed. The prayer of a godly person is powerful. Things happen because of it. What do you think of those verses we were talking about, Teacher Shu Hui? Hmm, I think it's about coming together and praying for each other. Maybe the story of Ezra will help us to understand it more. In the Old Testament, God gave the Israelites a special land to live in, which is called the Promised Land. The Bible says it was a land flowing with milk and honey, which means it was filled with everything the Israelites wanted and needed. But there was just one problem with it, the neighbours. The Bible says that the Promised Land was surrounded by people who didn't know or love God. They worshipped false gods, made up gods, and they did terrible things that broke God's commandments. God wanted the Israelites to obey Him. God knew that if the Israelites followed the neighbours who didn't worship Him, then they would eventually stop worshipping Him too. One time, there was a priest named Ezra who loved and followed God with his whole heart. Ezra had been away from the Promised Land for a long time, but when he returned, he found out that a bunch of Israelites had disobeyed God and followed their neighbours. Ezra was so upset that he began weeping, he, uh, he tore his robes and pulled the hair out from his head and beard. Whoa, so extreme! He must be really upset. Yeah, he was. He fell down to his knees, spread his hands out to God and prayed. The Bible says that Ezra prayed like this, I'm filled with shame and dishonor, my God. I can hardly look to you and pray. That's because our sins are piled up above our heads. Our guilt reaches all the way to the heavens. When the people around Ezra heard him weeping and praying, they also wept too. They confessed to Ezra that it was true that he sinned against God by following their neighbours to also worship false gods. That's not all though. Because they heard, the whole nation came together and prayed with Ezra. They prayed with each other and for each other. They prayed that God would forgive them and heal them from their sins. And because of Ezra's prayer, the Israelites once again devoted themselves to following God and living His way. Now that you've heard the story, I think it's time to see how well you were listening. Are you ready for a Space Cadet Review Challenge? Yes! Let's go! Question 1. James chapter 5 tells us to do what? A. Be kind and help one another. B. Confess your sins and pray for one another. C. Be generous and give to one another. D. Be truthful and honest with one another. The answer is B. Confess your sins and pray for one another. Next question. The promised land was known as a land flowing with what? A. Water and honey. B. Milk and jam. C. Milk and honey. Or D. Soda and candy. The answer is C. Milk and honey. Next. What did Ezra not do when he discovered the Israelites had sinned? A. He wept and prayed. B. He tore his rock. C. He pulled his hair out. And D. He threw his sandals. And the answer is D. He did not throw his sandals. Next question. What did the people do when they heard Ezra's prayer? A. They repented and prayed. B. They gave Ezra his privacy. C. They laughed at Ezra or D. They did not do anything wrong. The answer is A. They repented and prayed with him. That was great! I'm sure you all did an amazing job answering those questions. Now, let's look at a deeper dive into the story of Ezra. When the people of Israel were facing trouble, all the people came together. They confessed their sins to one another and they prayed for one another. Yes, they did exactly what the book of James tells us to do. Let's read it together in our best shaped voices. So, confess your sins to one another, pray for one another so that you might be healed. James chapter 5 verse 16 You'll face troubles, and a lot of times those troubles are too heavy for us to handle on our own. That's why God wants us to lift each other up in prayer. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's assume that this book is the trouble I have. But usually in life, we don't just have one trouble. It's probably a mountain of troubles. I try sometimes to do it all on my own, but I cannot. Oh, are you okay, teacher Elisha? 
Let me help you. Yeah. Sometimes we forget that God has given us people who love us and wants to help us with our troubles. God has surrounded us with people like Ezra who wants to pray for us. That's right. You're surrounded by people who want to pray for you. If you are struggling with a sin, you can confess to us. If you are sick, you can tell us about it. If you have some sort of trouble, you can let us know so that we can lift you up in prayer. Yes, that's so true. That's the end of our lesson for a series of 3, 2, 1, BLAST OFF! Way to go. You have successfully completed your final training mission. God's people faced trouble because they were not obeying His commandments. With the help of Ezra, the people confessed their sins and prayed for one another. We can do the same. We can help people who are in trouble by praying for them. If you love and follow God, your prayers are powerful. Now that you have completed the training program, raise your right hand and take the blast off oath. It's time for us to take the blast off oath, and so that we will be full space cadets. The words will be on the screen, so let's say them together. I, Elisha, do solemnly promise that I will obey all intergalactic road signs, that I will not bust the space tower, and that I will not drive slowly in the light speed lane. But most of all, I do solemnly promise that I will follow Jesus with my whole heart. Now that we're full space cadets, I hope that you've taken these lessons we learned in the past five weeks and use it to be awesome followers of Jesus. Alright, before we go, let us pray to God to send people whom we can both pray for and also pray with. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, we just want to thank you that you have put people around us who love us and who wants to pray together with us, Lord. I just want to pray that, Lord, when we are facing troubles, we will have the courage to speak up, to tell the people around us, mm -hmm. to our teachers, to our friends, and also to our family. I pray that we will also become the people who can pray for other people and pray with other people. In Jesus' name, I ask and pray. Amen! Amen. That's all we have this week. See you signing off as Space Cadets. Bye! Bye. Do 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 do